So into the first practice we go, and we went out on new slick tyres, um, just so we could get them scrubbed in, ready for the races, as well as it was another excuse just for me to go out for the first lap or so, just nice and steady, trying to get the grip into them. Um, that way I could learn you know, how the car was on the track. There had already been a spinner as we made it out, so I'd done better than one driver already. But just in the session, I found myself behind another Division 1 driver. Um, so yeah, I was just sort of seeing if I had any pace compared to them, and we did actually end up going past them uh, into Turn 2. So we had some decent pace from the start, but we were still slower by the end of the session than what I had done in the 125. The session did get red flagged quite early on due to an incident, so we were returned to the pits, um, and that was the end of our session. So what do you think of the bike? The whole thing's bouncing, but I don't know if it's the car or the track or what, but like, full bend, I do the right, turn left, and both front wheels are like... When I turn, I feel like they're coming off the ground, the front wheels. It's a, it's a really weird feeling. You better have a word with them. See what they say. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird feeling. So into the second practice now, and we went out the pits, um, and on the first lap, just while I started trying to get a little bit of heat into the tyres, we started to make it down the back straight, and then as we went into park, I saw. Uh, the red flag so the session got ended uh, on the first lap out for me so we did then return to the pit lane um, and we were held um, until the incident was cleared but then they did restart the session for us so as we went out the pits um, just started to make it round and as I got to the bottom of the mountain uh, I got a, um, a warning come up saying a low fuel pressure so I just parked it up because uh, I didn't want to cause any damage to the engine uh, and it turns out it was just one of the batteries starting to go flat so it weren't quite uh, letting the fuel pump work how it should do so we had to push the car all the way back and yeah that was the end of our practice too moving on to practice three and this was the first session where I started to actually push the car um, obviously with first session just being new tyres and it getting red flagged, the second one and completing a lap. Um, this was the first session where yeah, I managed to get a bit of clear track uh, and actually do the whole you know, the whole 15 minute session. So in this one we really had to try and you know increase the speed, get a decent lap time um, just so I could have a bit more confidence going into the race weekend. Uh, there was only one more session left after this practice and the weather forecast was saying rain for it as well. So I started off the session just making sure we got the heat into the tires and you know the engine warm enough. And then yeah, I just started every lap, just increasing the speed, carrying more speed through the corners. Um, and yeah, the confidence was just growing and growing. Uh, obviously on screen now, there are just some sort of highlights from some of the overtakes that we've done. Most of them just being straight line speed. Um, this overtake, I actually used the slipstream of the Division 1 in front. Um, and obviously, as we got to the top, just pulled out. And this was probably the latest I'd braked at this point as well uh, in the whole session. So it sort of showed me I had a lot more to give on the brakes. Um, so, yeah, that, that helped me going on as well, knowing I can brake later. And if there are people in front, then we can sometimes, you know, get that move done um, and have the confidence on the brakes that we're not going to lock it up or just miss the corner. So in this clip, um, another Division 1 comes past me, and that is Lee. Uh, he's the current British champion, so the goal was just to try and stay as close to him as possible. And even down this back straight in the tyre, I was just closing in. And under brakes, I actually felt like I was quite good compared to him as well. So, you know, the overtake a couple of laps before definitely helped. But, yeah, I was just trying to follow him through, you know, follow some of the lines he took. Um, and yeah, just try and stay as close to him as we can. You know, he did pull away a little bit, um, but I was expecting him to just sort of drive off into the distance. But yeah, when I was just behind him, uh, I think we'd done two laps behind him, and I sort of every lap I'd done, I just went about a second quicker and then another second quicker. And by the end of the lap, the gap wasn't as big as I was expecting. So this was the gap by the end of the first lap. 
and then that was a gap by the end of the second one which quite hard to see but it was only just a little bit further ahead <laughs> So moving on to the last practice and the weather forecast was correct, um, we did have the rain so yep, the rain came uh, so the wet tyres went on and I had to go out in this session um, no matter what just because we'd put uh, two new pistons in so I had to just go and give him a session where we could put a heat cycle through them and uh, you know just sort of run them in. So we were out and it wasn't that bad to start off with but the rain was just getting harder and harder and harder and we didn't get time to put an airbox cover on um, so I was told if it got too hard to just uh, to come in so we didn't do any like damage um, so yeah I was just trying to get a couple of laps in because I haven't done anything in the wet really a little or we've done a couple of laps at Silverstone um, but yeah the track wasn't really that bad so I was also really struggling for grip in this race, um, but I think a lot of it is because I was just taking it so steady and short shifting that I weren't really working the front tyres. And you can even see like the cart in front, even just through here, runs wide, just understeers through the right, runs wide onto the grass. Um, so yeah, I think everyone was sort of struggling, but I was just tired. I just had to actually push it harder if we ever go out in the in the rain, just to make the cart work and get some grip. And you sort of have to drive the cart on the throttle. Um, but yeah, as you can see, lap one and then the lap after, that, just the rain just come down so much, uh, so much harder. So yeah, we just decided that'd be the end of that session, um, and just to park it up. So that was the end of the practice day, and then it was time to get ready for the race day. So into qualifying, and the goal for me was really just to, you know, get some more laps under my belt and start just pushing the cart a little bit harder again so we went out just trying to get some heat into the tyres and you know uh, get the engine up to temperature um, and then it was just sort of trying to find some clear track so the first couple of laps uh, just because you know everyone was at the same time there were just carts everywhere so you know I, I had some carts to try and get through um, but I never really got to find much clear track so it was quite hard to you know right now just trying to get past that the other division one uh, but then I could see another car in front so it's even like here I could see Lee in front of me now um, and the goal was just to try and stay as close to him as I could uh, so obviously he sends the overtake and I did manage to get past but the car in front just bogged a bit so that did uh, slow me down a bit but yeah as um as I started to push for my first clear lap I could um I could actually see Lee in front so you know for me it was just to see if we could maintain the gap to him or you know just anywhere near him and I knew he would be challenging for probably like the top three for the weekend anyway um, so that's the goal and as the lap actually went on I did feel myself start getting a little bit closer to him um, but you know there were still carts in the way uh, again had to send another overtake on like one of my my fastest laps um, but yeah so we were just trying to you know put some good laps in lap after lap and as you can see, you can just about see Lee in front. Um, and at this area here, I felt like I was actually catching him. Um, so I knew I was actually on for a, a decent lap. But it turns out, obviously, as we do come out the last corner, uh, Lee does pull it into the pit lane. So I'm guessing he'd uh, it sort of stopped his lap and he'd uh, eased it off a bit. But it was still quite a decent lap for me. Um, and yeah, we, we were more than happy with how we were getting on. So. I kept trying um, for some more faster laps, but you know the next one we had carts in front of us at the first sector. Uh, the lap after, I had a really good start. You know, the first three quarters of the lap was really fast, and as we got to Hall Bends, there was just another slower cart in front. So I think this was actually my fastest lap, but it did cost me a little bit of time. And then on my fastest lap, as I got to the bottom of the mountain, there was just a cart stopped in the middle. Um, not really sure what he was doing, so. Yeah, that was time to just call it a day there, go get yourself weighed. And I think we finished seventh overall in my first qualifying session. So into my first ever race in the Division 1. And 
I didn't really know what to expect. Um, off the rolling start, I didn't get a very good start, and the front pack did just pull away. Uh, I ended up getting overtaken by the leading 250. Um, but yeah, as the race went on, you know, a lap or two later, I had caught up with the 250, and I used the straight line speed of the Division 1 to overtake in a straight line. Uh, I gained another place um, a lap or so later uh, with another Division 1 just bogging a little bit as they exited the corner. The hopping of the car um, that I had experienced in the first practice uh, from like the day before had seemed to get worse in this race, whether it was just because I was trying a little bit harder, I'm not really sure. Um, obviously that was costing me a, quite a bit of time through the woodland section, so there were some awesome moves put on me by Paul in the 250. Um, but yeah, we had a really good battle, and you know he just showed me that I needed to go quicker through that through that hairpin um, and into it. So yeah, that was something we worked on. Um, and as we come in from the race, Paul did actually help us with some advice um, and set up for the cart, which made a big difference, um, and it did really help me out. A safety car was deployed later on in the race, um, and that left us a one lap dash to the end. I did again get a very poor restart um, and obviously as we got going again I couldn't quite make it back past the 250 so we did finish uh, the first race um, in sixth place um, but yeah I was happy to get my first finish and yeah we were ready for the three championship races uh, later on. So into the first championship race and with a race under my belt I knew what to expect. I got a better start and by the end of lap 1 I wasn't too far behind. Uh, later on in the race a safety car was brought out to help with an incident that had happened on lap 1 um, but was then later red flags just to help clear the track quicker. We did get the race restarted um, and then for me it was just a sort of a very lonely race. The gap to the car in front was just increasing every lap. Um, but I did bring it home in this race um, to finish in fifth, which was one place better than the day before, so really happy with that. Into the second race for the championship, um, and it was another decent start, for my standards anyway, um, and I was a lot closer to leading pack. The goal for this race was to try and increase my pace and my lap time and just start to push the car a little bit harder. I did manage my top speed for the weekend in this race, which was 136 mile an hour. Um, and also my best result. With a couple of laps left, uh, I felt my chain start to become loose and I was going to pull in. Um, but then as I come down the start straight, I saw them put the, the last lap board out. So I decided just to try and nurse at home for one more lap. As I got to the first corner, there had been an incident that brought out the red flag. So I decided to pull it over uh, just a little bit earlier, just to try and save any more damage. The race was obviously stopped um, and they went back a lap and that put me in third place for the race which was now my best result I'd had. For race 3, the final race of the weekend, I started a little further up the grid. I got an alright start again and moved into fourth place, um, but after about two laps I started to feel the chain come loose again and then the race before, I just it didn't last very long once it started to uh, become loose. So in this race I just decided to try and ease it off a little bit and I was just short shifting, uh, not going down the gears, not trying to over rev the car as I was coming out of the corners. Um, so my lap time wasn't very good, but for me the target in this race was just to try and get another finish, uh, because we know if we did get a finish somewhere around the top five, then it could have given us um, a chance for a top three in overall for the weekend. So I got another finish, so I finished every single race for the weekend. Um, and then the goal was just to take the cart back, put it in the van in one piece, and we went to the presentation where I was actually awarded um, third place overall for the weekend. I'd just also like to do a massive shout out to just all the people uh, that have supported me along the way, all the sponsors, all the fans, just everyone that turned up to support me. Um, I couldn't do it without you all, and hopefully, you know, not a bad first round, and we can just keep improving from here aiming to get some decent results throughout the year as well and if you did enjoy the video as well um would much appreciate it if you could just drop a like uh, comment and if you haven't subscribed uh, definitely click that button because i will be uploading a lot more this year with all the content and yeah just come follow the journey and see how we get on